Hey guys, it's Chris, and I am here today to show you my new Lego Halo Banshee. So, yeah, pretty sweet looking. Um, so, lately i actually been putting pictures on Flickr and YouTube and making videos of this and putting it on YouTube. Uh, kind of mentioning it, but not exactly showing you the full detail and stuff in this. And throughout that time, I've actually been modifying it and changing it and kind of tweaking it to make it look more Halo accurate. And if you haven't uh, figured out by now, this is supposed to be a Halo 3 Banshee. So um, I will be showing you some details on this. So as you can see, I changed it, like the Banshee cockpit, so it would be kind of like more pointing upwards. So like during flight, it looks like this. It's kind of more like the Halo 3 Banshee because if you look at pictures of it, it's just like that. And um, also, if you if you haven't noticed yet, um, the curve of the Banshee is very similar to the ghost design that Monday Noodle made. And Cooper's uh, has a tutorial on this, so go to his channel um, on how to build this. Um, but I also included this really cool curvature with these cool slope pieces in it because I just felt that it would be really good to uh, put that in this. Um, so in the front we have uh, two plasma guns and this bottom light thing and um, I guess this light thing can also double as the fuel rod cannon uh, if you want. Um, and we got some really nice wings right here they're very sturdy you can set them down they're not gonna break on you. Um, and the uh, translucent plasma booster things uh, because like in Halo Reach and Halo 3 when you boost um, it leaves this plasma trail behind it so uh, those are pretty cool and those extend towards the back of the Banshee which when you lay it back um, the back flaps can open so um, like just for a cool feature and uh, you can also open the cockpit uh, right here here, see that little flap? You can also push that up to keep this from not falling over, but I can't do that with one hand. And so, um, as you can see, a, a Spartan Brick Forge uh, character can fit into the back, and it pretty um, it won't really fall out. Um, it kind of, if you can see, let me see if I can move in on this. Those back studs kind of hold the Spartan's feet in place, preventing it from falling out during play. Um, uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Uh, and you can also like put uh, like Sergeant Johnson or whatever Lego figure you have um, inside the Banshee and it'll stay in place, which is really cool. This is a really cool civilian, if I may say so myself. Uh, yeah, and uh, it's pretty cool because on my Flickr, um, I have a picture of this, uh, flying towards this, uh, mongoose, which by the way is designed by Wacko Movie, so please visit his channel because it's a pretty sweet design. Um, and it's just pretty cool. I don't know. I'm just really happy with the way this came out. I think it looks really great, and it'll also be featured in my mock. So I better wrap this up since I'm running out of uh, battery. So please rate, comment, and subscribe this video. Rate, uh, comment down here. Subscribe up here. Tell me what you think. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.